Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So, I'm down here in New South Wales and I'm staying at a mate's place. And they've pretty much got a lake in their backyard where you can catch flatties and brim. So, I reckon the plan for today is going to be, I'm going to try catch some flatties on a plastic. It's a little plastic and then, and then try get some brim on prawns. And then for lunch I think we'll cook them up. That's if I can catch anything, but yeah, I'll show you. Like, yeah, but this is what I'm talking about. This is their house right here. Barbecue over there, and then literally you take like a few steps and you're out fishing. So hopefully we can catch some flatties and stuff, and we'll cook them up. It's a bit windy, so it's probably gonna be a bit of wind noise, but oh well. All right, I think we're ready to go. Usually, you literally half the time there's one waiting right along the shore, so. Just creep up. And literally I'll just flick my plastic out there. Little kid over there throwing out bread, so there's gonna be brim over there, but we wanna get some flatties. Right yeah. I have one little cast over there. Cause that's where they're just throwing out bread. I just had a bite. I got one. This is like third cast, I think. What is it? It's a flathead. I got my drag real loose, so he's running a bit. It's a good flathead. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this is like literally straight off the bat. All right, so this is flathead, literally like third cast. So just walked down here, had a couple casts and yeah. So it's a nice flathead, probably 40, you know, 40 mid 40 centimeter flathead. And yeah, it's a good eating size. So we'll have him for lunch. So I'll just gut him real quick. I've already put him out of his misery, so I'll gut him. And then we'll put him away and fill it him later. I caught that fish right here. And there's the house and the dog. I was using a um, tiny little three inch, three inch squidgy wriggler. Alright, so I've just cleaned this flathead up, just took all the guts out of it, so I'm going to keep on fishing and then I'm going to come back if I get any more fish. Yep. Alright. Wash my hands and keep fishing. Flounder on a plastic. Yeah, so this spot I'm gonna come up to. Oh, I got one. <laughs> this is the small one, but that was cool, eh? Just in this little tiny creek. All right, so here's the second little flatty of the day. Just yeah, just in this little creek area here. I was just throwing my plaque in these little little areas where I thought there could be a fish. I was just about to say, well this area I'm leading up to next, last time I was here I caught a flounder on my plastic. Let's get this guy back in. He swam off good. Alright, so all I'm doing now is just uh, going around. Literally, I'm going to walk around the whole lake, keep flicking. And um, little kids getting choked out over there. And then hopefully I can catch some more fish. I'm pretty certain I will be able to. As you saw, I caught that other little one, but we got one other good size flatty, then I'll walk back. Then I'm getting hungry, so we'll have lunch. 
But this is also a really good spot right here. The overhang. Also, the wind's coming this way. So when I fish on this side, the fish won't be able to hear me come up, sneak up, and they won't be able to see me. So I'll probably have a good chance over this side. one yes there's a second one. no there's a third one all right i think i might let this guy go as well maybe there he goes pops off you destroy my plastic ah oh, plastic's still good yeah i'm gonna let this guy go he's only just size probably there he goes very good. I just lost one. Bit it off. See that? The tail has been ripped off. Just lost one. Super windy. spot though. Oh, I got off. Woo. Oh, I was in a bad spot there. He grabbed it right over the log. Oh, this is a nice spot. There's one. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. He hasn't spooked yet. We're on a bit of a bad streak here. We've missed a couple. But these are the hard ones to catch when you're right up against the brush. Got him. Yeah, we got him. There we go. He's a good one. Um, he came back for that one. This would have been the same one I lost. I think I'm gonna let him go because I've got to go a long way and I don't have enough to kill him. So yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Ready? See you, mate. It's all right. Done a whole lap of the lake now, so. I'm gonna go up and then I think dad's gonna fill the fish and cook it up. But yeah, I'm hungry, so eat that fish. Put it on its side, cut behind his fins here. Do you hit the um, backbone and then just run the knife along? It's not the sharpest of knives, but it's a bad knife. I couldn't even gut it, the knife's that bad. <laughs> to get the skin off it and stop that there that way you don't Bang. have to scale it, all the scales are still on the skin there's a fillet yo, egg in what else, we're going to add a bit of flour I think Flour on. Fish on flour. Fish on flour action. Yeah, 
coating her in the egg. Yep. Now she's going on. We're almost there. They're looking good. They're done. Yum. Finished product. Masterpiece. <laughs> Time to wait. All right. Mmm. Good. Actually, very good. All right. I'm going to finish this up. I might give some to Dad actually. You want some? What do you reckon? Yeah. Good? It's actually good. Oh, yeah, but no, this is really good. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first catch and cook. Let me know if you enjoyed this video or not. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.